Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going in this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain. But over time, I became profitable. And I believe that you will as well. If you're not already, you just have to stick with it and build a consistent trading plan. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. Before we go into the charts, though, give this video a thumbs up. It really lets me know that you like these kind of videos. So I really appreciate it if you just hit that thumbs up button. Thank you. Now, without further ado, guys, let's let's dive into it. So we see NASDAQ on the on the weekly chart here. And uh, if you saw my last video, I basically said uh, we were trading here. And I said that, hey, so far on the weekly chart, we're still bearish because we just trade up into resistance to the left. So the next reasonable target is retesting the lows or taking out the lows. And I was in a short. I took profit on the short before the relief rally bounce. Uh, I got out of the short uh, here at about uh, 15,100s. And I didn't get back in the short because I was unsure. And we kind of just broke through on Wednesday. And then I basically didn't chase the short because Wednesday we were selling off after FOMC. I felt like obviously it was too late, uh, but it wasn't because we kept dumping. But whatever, missed out on the second half of the short. So now we're basically double bottom here on the NASDAQ. And I have some levels drawn out. And I ended up getting into a long uh, on the close of Friday. I'll, I'll show you why I got in the long, but for now, just know uh, it was about 18, 14.873. And if we go to the four hour, it was right at the market close because of some oversold readings. And my stop is just below 14,620. Uh, and my TP is in the fair value gap to the left uh, on the four hour, halfway through the FOMC sell off about uh, 15,240. So it's about a 1.5 R, as you can see here, if I put my mouse here, about 1.5 R, looking for to grab about 350 points on the upside for an oversold bounce uh, up in here. And then basically, you know the drill, I think that we will trade back lower at about 14,200 to 14,400 at some point in October. I think we'll bottom there and actually head higher. So I am in this long right now, uh, you'll see that uh, on ES is much weaker than the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ essentially double bottoms came up into this uh, level here and found re uh, rejection into Friday. But I think that this is actually a trap for bears. I, I think that they're they're laying a trap right now. And worst case, Monday morning, we'll just kind of wick below 14,800. But then I think we'll close above on Monday and push up and, and squeeze out some shorts. So if, if you're looking to short now, uh, obviously, I believe it's too late right now. And I think that we need a little bit of a relief rally. After that, we can get into some shorts again. But for now, uh, I am in this long. So reason why I have the stop at 4,600 is if you go to the daily chart on the NASDAQ, look to the left, there's some swing lows right here. So I don't, I don't, I think that Monday we could wick below because NASDAQ can wick below no problem, but I think we'll, we'll have a relief rally. And I think we'll trend back lower and, and basically take out the lows and you'll see to the left, there's a lot of open trading from 14,600 to 14,300. So those are my targets for NASDAQ uh, getting as low as about 14,200. If you go to the weekly chart, uh, you'll see that, you know, lots of support, at least from about 40,300. So it looks to the left, double bottom there. So I think we could certainly get down there and then push back up again. So that's basically what I'm looking at on the NASDAQ. And then if you go to ES on the weekly chart, much, much more bearish, as you can see here, we broke right below and to the left on the weekly, no real support until about 4,300. So we could drop another 50, 60 points bottom there and then push back up. But if you go down to about the daily, I do see some support. Yeah, we could come to about 43.30 first and then bounce back up. Uh, so Monday, we could drop another you know, 20 points or so to wick below, get the bounce up into about 44.15 on ES. Again, it's weaker than NASDAQ. So we could just dip below, get to about 43.20, 43.30 uh, early in the week. And then at some point of the week, get to about 44.14. That's a potential short area uh, and then come back down. I think the ultimate bottom would be about 4280. If you just look to the left here, lots of trading at 4280 and 4300. So I think we will bottom there uh, around this 200 day moving average, uh, you know, 4290. And then I actually think that we will trade back up into the end of the year, get to about 4700 by the end of the year. A lot of people probably don't think that, but that's what I think. Uh, same thing on the NASDAQ. I think after we bottom about 14,500 or 4,300, we will actually cycle back up and by the end of the year, take out these highs to the left that we made in, in July and get above 16,400. 
So that's just the breakdown uh, of ES and NASDAQ. Of course, though, we are bearish on the daily. We are bearish on the four hour. We are bearish on the weekly on all of these time frames. We're bearish, so we should not be looking for longs. I am in a relief rally long, and I'll explain more why I am in that long. Uh, if you go to the monthly on the NASDAQ, uh, we are in a bullish market structure, of course. If you go into the ES on the monthly, we are in a bullish market structure as well here on the monthly and coming down to support. So we should still expect uh, long-term trend to be higher, but on the weekly and lower, of course, definitely bearish. So I wanted to go over to the dollar because the dollar is what is doing all of this, in my opinion. And when the dollar goes up, we go down on the NASDAQ and ES, and even more so on the NASDAQ. So everything's been going to plan here. I've been watching the dollar, and ever since we took out this high at 104.7, NASDAQ had a lot of pain, and that's what I expected. We did get a 50-day moving uh, average cross over the 200, and typically that basically signals that there's a you know, a longer streak for the dollar to go up for weeks and months. And when the dollar goes up for weeks and months, typically the market goes down. So next alert here is at 106, basically, because once we take all these highs again, uh, lots more pain again for the NASDAQ. But what's what's even more interesting is if you go to the weekly chart, I've been always eyeing this fair value gap here on the weekly. I think we're going to trade above into here a 109 area at some point this year after we take out this high. And if we do get there, NASDAQ and the market will be uh, significantly lower. So just keep it, keep your eye out for the dollar on that. Uh, so everything looks good for shorts uh, based on the dollar and how that's moving there. If you go to the VIX now, um, this is another reason why I'm in a long on the NASDAQ because basically we got above the 50 day moving average and we're testing the 200 day. And on the VIX, as we know, as the volatility goes up, the market goes down and vice versa. So very strong push in the VIX. But lately, and typically, we top out at this 200-day uh, moving average, and we get rejected. So you'll see, actually, Friday, August 18th, that was the bottom for the market. And now we're testing the 200 again, potentially putting in a bottom for the market and having a relief rally. Uh, if you scroll back here, uh, we hit the 200-day moving average Friday, March 10th. The next day, Monday, March 13th, was the bottom for the market. Uh, and we traded above here with the VIX, but the market kept going higher while we were chopping around here. So basically, every time we get around the 200, uh, we can see a bottom in the market. So another reason why I think that we're oversold and I think they'll have a relief rally. And one more thing I want to take a look at was the 10 year and the two year. So typically, when the 10 and two year keep rising, it's a lot more pressure on the NASDAQ. And I think that Wednesday was with FOMC was the one last kind of hoorah shock. Uh, on the two year, especially. And you'll see right there, Wednesday, boom, pushed up with FOMC. And I think that we're going to pull back now. And we took out all the highs. So I think we'll pull back. And as this pulled back, NASDAQ can rally. Same thing on the 10 year. The 10 year, though, could continue to trend up. But I just think that this was very explosive. Take people out, pull back on the 10 year. As the 10 year pulls back, NASDAQ and the market can rise again for about a week. So these are all reasons why I think that. The market will bounce this coming week and i think that we will trend back lower on the nasdaq and then take out these uh lows sets and come to about 14,400 or 4,300 as a bottom and then trend back up uh, from end of october into the end of the year that's going to conclude this video thanks so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it subscribe for more videos just like this i post all my trades and the market analysis twice a week every sunday and every thursday so Follow along for the next video coming out Thursday night. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.